Welcome back to FESPA TV, looking at the world of 3D printing today. Really pleased to be joined by Jason from Legacy FX. Jason, welcome to FESPA TV. Um, thanks for taking the time to talk to us no today. Problem. What's Legacy FX do? Tell us a little bit about your work. So we're a special effects studio. Uh, we've come out of the Stan Winston studio. Uh, Stan pioneered a lot of stuff in filmmaking for about 25 years, maybe even more. Like Terminator, Jurassic Park, Predators, all of those iconic films. And we've taken his traditional core values and applied them to our new business after Stan passed in 2008 to keep going with his legacy, using his values, but being able to deliver with today's standards. From a 3D print perspective, um, what's that uh, doing to change your world, if you like? Well, the, the, the first thing that's really exciting about it is that with the way everything is today, people want things faster and quicker for deadlines. 3D printing allows us to get parts and pieces into traditional artists and sculptors' hands even quicker. So a lot of people start doing designs early on in Photoshop and then translate them into a digital model. We can then take that digital model and very quickly, with the workforce that we have and talent that we have, turn that into a 3D printed piece to get it back into someone's hands to make a decision, to run some tests, or to be a base to take it to the next level on our workshop floor. Tell me a little bit more about this piece uh, that you're wearing, is that the right word? Yep. So what I'm holding here is uh, from Iron Man 2, it's uh, the gauntlets. And basically this technology allowed us to revisit and change how we made these in the first movie and apply them to how we made them from the second movie on. So when the two-person team in design and engineering saw the concept, uh, it was we were able to quickly print portions of the digits to figure out if it would work the way that they wanted it to translate and then to quickly produce an output each breakdown of these gloves and take them to the next step with plating and then final post-processing and then assembling to a functioning functioning piece to actually fit over the design was wrapped over the actual scan of Robert's hand so he has a true to fit comfort glove so he can do more things in camera now and not be limited to what can be done on his hands we marry with CG and visual effects. I mean, I don't like to look at it as one thing replacing another thing. It's all about the marriage and how these technologies and these crafts play together. And, and, and this is a perfect example of it. It really allows all the people that have invested so many years as traditional artists in our studio to stay current with you know, all the things that they were doing for the first times ever back in the day and apply them to new technologies quicker and just be able to bring beautiful things to life with a nice base, easy way of getting there. Looking ahead to the future, what, what excites you about the, the possibilities of that technology, just freeing it up? Uh, what, I, what I really like is more, more material selection. Uh, we can simulate ABS now to get even stronger parts so we can you know, get things out quicker into someone's hand to post-process how it's needed and get it right on set. It allows us to get out many versions. I mean, everything about the technology is very exciting to me because it hasn't been a replacement. It's just been a tool to get it into a craftsman's hands quicker and allow them to bring it to life. And anything that supports that workflow is, is what we're all about. So it's, it's really just about speeding up that process. Um, speeding up the process, allowing a lot more time in testing and design because of the time that we've gained. You can really uh, hash out a lot more ideas where you're not just locked in because of the time restriction. You know, we leave at 5 o'clock, we put it on the printer, come in the next day, test it out, see how it worked. But we're constantly moving, we're constantly creating with it. Excellent. Well, Jason, thanks again for talking to us today. Um, that's a, an awesome handshake. <laughs>